Hi, it's Phil Bedford here, and welcome to the Rebel Networker. Uh, today, I'm in Big Bear, California, and uh, I'm privileged to have on the show Dr. Ivan Meisner. And um, for any of you out there in the networking world who don't know who he is, uh, he's the founder of BNI, which has Ivan currently 170,000 members worldwide. worldwide. Yeah. 170,000. So, if there's anyone to talk to about networking, this is the man. Um, and what I wanted to touch on today, Ivan, is, is um, I often meet people when, when I'm networking. You know, when they ask me what I do, which is helping people to grow their business through yeah. networking and word of mouth, they draw a blank. Yeah. And yet, when I when I talk to them, they'll say to me that oh, I've grown my business by by referrals, client referrals. I do really well. And yet, they draw a blank when it comes to learning. Right. Why? I think one of the reasons for it is that uh, there's not this mentality that you, that it's a, a a learned skill. We don't teach it in colleges and universities. It's not a topic uh, at any university anywhere in the world. And and so they they don't think that it's something that has to be learned. And and so when they hear about networking, it's like, well, you know, you're either good at networking or you're not. And they could not be further from they they, they couldn't be further from the truth, because networking is an acquired skill, just like. If you want to be a good manager, you, you go to school and learn management. If you want to be a good salesperson, you go to a sales training program to learn how to sell. Well, if you want to build your business through referrals or you want to network effectively, you have to learn how to do it. And it, this is an emerging field. You know, the first book on networking wasn't even written until the late 80s, <laughs> the early 90s. That was the first book on networking. Can you imagine? You know, management in the first book wasn't written until the <laughs> 80s or 90s. And, and so it's not recognized as a field of study. I think that's one of the reasons. Uh, and so that's what you're doing. You're, mm. you're, you're doing that. And by the way, you have here on Rebel Networker, one of the best, one of the world's best trainers in referral marketing. Phil uh, is here in Big Bear because he is one of the world's best trainers. So uh, you have a lot you can learn from him. And I think that's why people kind of glaze over it's really interesting. We see this a lot in the Middle East, particularly. You'll get a lot of sales teams and sales individuals who've been working for years in sales and yet yeah. they've never learned how to sell. And it isn't until they've been in business a long time that finally the company will invest in training right. and they realize how much business they've lost. Networking's got to be the same, isn't it? Networking absolutely is the same. And I'm seeing more and more larger companies realize that they've got to send their people to training to learn how to network because it's not, it's not as obvious. I mean, there are some things that are absolutely counterintuitive. Like, I think in most cases, people go to a networking uh, event and they think it's a, an opportunity for face-to-face -face cold calling. Hi, Phil, my name's Ivan, let's do business. And they try to go right for the sale. And uh, that, you know, that is, if you really wanna do networking badly, Another that's one. what you do. <laughs> it's got yeah, people run. And so it's just done wrong and it will continue to be until uh, more and more people go through the effective kind of training that, that you have offered. Brilliant. I um, thank you so much. Just a quick thank you on yeah. behalf of myself. Thanks, Phil. And everyone watching the show. Thanks a lot. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, everybody. See you on the next show, Rebel Networker.